What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my second video of the day. And don't adjust your computer screens. This is indeed a Columbus Blue Jackets video for you guys. As the 2023-2024 NHL season is right around the corner. And when it comes to the Blue Jackets, yeah, they had a very quiet offseason. At least in terms of adding players. Now, they did make a couple trades at the very beginning of the offseason. Acquiring Ivan Provorov from the Flyers and Damon Severson from the Devils. But when it comes to non-free agency moves and stuff, yeah, they were far from quiet off the ice. Mm -hmm. There was the whole Mike Babcock situation that dominated the headlines during the offseason. And just when it looked like we were going to have a normal, quiet offseason, this whole thing with Mike Babcock and asking players for photos pops up due to a uh, podcast that came out. And uh, yeah, that really set the Blue Jackets fan base ablaze on social media. Mm -hmm. And that really put our front office in a very peculiar position. Because, of course, they had to wait for an investigation to go down to see if this was all legit. And, of course, it was. Now, honestly, based off of what I heard, it sounded like the veteran players didn't mind the whole thing with Babcock asking to look at photos. But as you can imagine, the young players didn't really feel too comfortable with that. And with how young this team is, yeah, that can really ruin a team's vibe. So, as you'd expect, Yarmo, John Davidson, and company decided to part ways with Mike Babcock. So, really, he lasted, what, a month? Barely? Maybe just over a month as Blue Jackets coach? And in terms of who they replaced him with, they went with a guy that I honestly thought was going to get the job from the get-go in Pascal Vincent. He's been at the team for a couple years. And, honestly, I like it, you know? If they were going to go internal, I thought Pascal Vincent was the right guy to go to. And it'll be interesting to see how this team plays with Vincent running things on the bench. Now, I'm going to get into the roster in a minute. But before I do, I do have some news to talk about regarding the Blue Jackets possibly making some trades as we get closer to the season. As Frank Saravalli had a couple tweets that I'm going to talk about. Here's the first one. And I quote, Sources say CBJ have been engaged in trade dialogue with teams in recent days in an effort to move a defenseman from their NHL roster. They've told teams they'd like more flexibility at the position. Interesting. Now I'm going to get into the current defensive core and we're going to see who uh, they might want to move here. And actually, while I'm talking about that, Frank Cervelli actually followed that tweet up with this one giving us more clarity as to who might be moved. As Frank tweeted this out, and I quote, Since everyone is asking for a name, the truth is CBJ are open to different possibilities as they weigh value, likely centered around Balkvist, Bean, and to a lesser extent, based on minutes, Peak. They'll likely move whomever they find gets them most back. Now, in terms of what they're going to want back, maybe a centerman? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I expect them to trade a defenseman soon here. We'll see who uh, the lucky guy is to get moved. And I know Yarmo and company are working hard to try to make this team as competitive as possible. You know, and I know a lot of you are wondering, Crazy Dog, do you think the Blue Jackets could be a playoff team? Now, not this year. Maybe next year or whatever. But this year, no, it's all about growing. Because this team is very young. Now, we do have some good veterans, though. Especially, uh, you know, Johnny Gaudreau, Patrick Laine, Zach Wierenski. And, of course, Elvis Merz Lincolns are the big guys in terms of veterans. I think those guys are going to be the ones to lead this team. This team will go as they go. Especially Elvis. Because if Elvis is back to his old self, we could be good. We could be a sneaky good team. But if he's out there looking like Swiss cheese, yeah, it's going to be a long year. Yep. So we'll see how things go. Now, before I get into the roster outlook, 
got some injuries to talk about. As Jeff Svoboda gave us some news based on uh, some injuries and such, as he tweeted this out, CBJ moves. Placed on injured non-roster list, Yegor Chinnikov back, Jordan Dumais, upper body, and Daniil Tarasov, knee. Placed on IR, Matthew Olivier, leg. Loaned to at Monsters Hockey, the AHL affiliate in Cleveland. Nick Blankenberg, David Juracek, and Dmitry Voronkov. And loaned to Moose Jaw Warriors in the juniors, Denton Matejchuk. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the final regular season roster for the Blue Jackets. Now, before I get into this, as always, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Blue Jackets content. I might be doing some Blue Jackets streams this year. Not now, obviously, because there's a lot going on. Baseball, basketball starting up, football's underway. There's already a lot going on. I might do some Blue Jackets streams like around the springtime. So keep an eye out for that. Unless there's like a, you know, a day where the Cavs really aren't playing and, you know, when football is over, but we'll see. But looking at the regular season roster for the Blue Jackets, starting with the forwards, of course, you have Cole Sillinger, Sean Corrali, you have Adam Fentilli, the rookie. I'm excited to see what Fentilli will do. That dude was lighting it up in the preseason. Big time. He was looking so damn good, man. I'm so glad we got him. <laughs> For real. My God, he's going to be so much fun. Johnny Gaudreau, of course. I still can't believe we freaking got him. Right? Of anybody, we got Johnny freaking hockey. So random. I love it. Then you have Justin Danforth, Liam Foody, Patrick Line, who's still here, Boone Jenner, Alexander Texier is back in the States. That'll be fun to see what he can do after a year or so away because of mental health and stuff. Eric Robinson, Emil Bemstrom, Kirill Marchenko, Kent Johnson, and Jack Rostovic, who honestly could get traded soon. Who knows? He's been the subject of trade rumors as of late, so we'll see what happens there. Now you look at the defense group. You have uh, Andrew Peake, Zach Wierenski, Ivan Provorov, Jake Bean, Adam Buckvist, Eric Goodbranson, and, of course, Damon Severson. And like I just mentioned, a couple of those guys have been uh, the subject of trade talks. So we'll see who gets moved and see what we get back. And then in terms of goaltenders, of course, no more Eunice Corposalo traded him at the deadline last year. But uh, we have Elvis Merz-Lincolns and Spencer Martin, who we uh, claimed on waivers. So there you go, guys. This is the Blue Jackets regular season roster. As of now, moves can always be made and stuff. So we'll see what they do to finalize it. See if they trade any defensemen and see what they get back. Probably won't get back much, to be honest. But yeah, this is the roster. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Honestly, looking at this roster, it's not a bad roster. This is definitely a team. That could very well make some noise this season. If, and I mean, if they stay healthy. That was our big issue last year. There was times where you might as well call us the freaking Columbus Monsters because it seemed like our entire roster was players from the AHL. If this team can stay healthy, they can be good. This is not a roster that is built to finish last. This is a roster that will at least compete for a while. I think they could be a fringe playoff team. That's my ultimate ceiling for this team. A fringe playoff team. Unless, like, you know, Johnny and them just overachieve and we somehow slip into the playoffs. But you never know. That's why they play the games. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the roster. And uh, we'll see what other moves the front office make to finalize it. So, with that being said, guys... I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Blue Jackets. Should be a fun season. And uh, I'm out. Bye-bye.